a thread by Soul War. Georgia. Sweet Georgia on my mind. Well, it looks like the wall of denial thrown up by state Democrats and Republicans in Georgia has been smashed flat by a red tsunami of evidence in the past 24 hours. All their efforts and that of the mainstream media and social media drowned out. Even before this video went viral and killed for all time the notion that President Trump and his team were failing on all fronts in their drive to prove election fraud, the hearing yesterday was damning. No fair-minded soul can say there wasn't fraud. Kanakoa the Great tweeted Georgia. Water main break at State Farm Arena. Video footage shows everyone was cleared out, including Republican observers, but four people stay behind, pull suitcases filled with ballots from under a table, and continue to count ballots in private from around 10.30 p.m. So according to the witnesses, the Republican observers, there is a lady who has blonde braids who comes out to announce we're going to stop counting. Everyone go home. And in fact, we see that. What happens is everyone clears out, including the Republican observers in the press, but four people stay behind and continue counting and tabulating well into the night from that point, which is going to be about 1025 when they all clear out, or 1030. And they will continue counting unobserved, unsupervised, not in public view, as your statute requires, until about one in the morning. The reason we know this is because when our Republican observers were forced to leave, they went to the Central Tabulation Center and they got news from a, or word from a news crew that in fact counting had continued. They have information that not everybody left according to plan and some people stayed behind. So this shocked them. So they returned back to State Farm Arena at about one o'clock in the morning where they confirmed that in fact people had just left State Farm Arena in contravention of what they had been told by the supervisors who are running this operation. Oh, that's jarring. That's the first time I've watched that. Fast on the heels of that video came a second one to utterly smash the credibility of everyone who began to scream, this means nothing, that your eyes were lying to you and you needed to back off. We're not backing off. We're winning. They're losing. Joe Dan Gorman tweeted, word of the day, felony. Ruby likes to make videos at work with ballots with no return address. Let's take a look, shall we? Yeah. Oh, so. Hey, Dion, what's going on? How are you? <sighs> yeah. So, I got a lot of work to do, y'all. So, I'm working seven days a week, but I'm getting it done. I was out for 10 days because I didn't like the way things were going. So, I just said, mm. yeah, anywho, I'll see y'all when I see you. But I'm back. Ready to work. I'm gonna look, I'm gonna let y'all see this. Okay, don't say nothing. Listen, look. So that's what's going on at Fulton County. Voters registration. Sir, can I have some work? It's been 30 minutes. 30 minutes? Uh-huh. That's all you can give me. I'm going to give you but five. 
I come to work, y'all, and they talk about me. Oh, they talk about me. I don't care. Because I told them I didn't want to work. Oh, Dion, thank you. Thank you, love. When I didn't want to work, I took off for 10 days. Now I'm back at work. Give me some work. Because I come to work. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Oh, you're going to give me, oh, you just gave me one. God bless you real good. Thank well, you. I want to give you two. I ain't trying to overwork you. Overwork? Ain't no such thing. I'm going to be here till 7 o'clock. Okay. Y'all see all this I got to do? I got to do all this. Enter all these. Have some tea power. Don't mind, Miss okay. Ruby. Whatever. <sighs> First time I've seen that one, too. Trump has adopted the Reagan strategy regarding communists. We win, they lose. Reagan's communist opponents were Soviets. Ours are both foreign and domestic communists, and Trump is not interested in detente with amoral and corrupt shitbags. So we're going to beat them into the dust. The strategy solidified yesterday with that Georgia hearing, death by a thousand damning affidavits, backed up by video evidence a la Project Veritas style tactics. You make the charge, allow the opponent to deny, 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 and then you hit them with a damning proof bomb. The left has had a solid month to snigger and smugly snort at us. Get any proof? Huh? Do you? As they're talking heads in the mainstream media and social media gurus did everything within their power to shape a new reality that Biden was president and we just had to accept it. They're insane. They cheated on a massive scale right to our faces. They think we are are the Americans that the Japanese and the Germans thought we were weak and timid. Dark hearts always see kind and generous people as weak. They use our fair-mindedness against us to the point of abject contempt. Right now, every move that President-elect Biden is talking, taking is a sad, sick joke. And that joke is on them because now we get to watch as they run for the tall grass as the proof they claimed to want to see begins to blow up in their sham reality. They asked for it and now they don't want it. Americans who believe in our republic as founded are now dropping proof bombs all over the place so fast and hard the left can't respond effectively. They're on the run now. Hey, where you going, pal? Here's that proof you asked for. Kaboom! Again, from Kanakoa the Great, Georgia. A 20-year poll manager talks about the most unusual batch of ballots she has ever seen, quote, an overwhelming amount were exactly the same, pristine, no folds, with a different feel. 98% were for Biden. Let's listen, shall we? Most of them were pretty worn until we came up to a batch that is, um, it was, my words were pristine. It was white, it was so white, and this is a typical absentee ballot. You can see how when it comes to you in the mail, how it's got many folds in it. These had no folds. Um, and I was running my hands up and I said to my um, seatmate, I said, feel these, they feel different. And when you have felt absentee ballots for as long as I have, yeah, the years are creeping up there. You know the feel of them. You know the feel of a real dollar bill. You know the feel of a, um, a play dollar bill, even though it might look genuine. But the thing that really jumped out at us, besides the feel of these ballots, besides there were no folds, was the fact that an overwhelming amount 
were exactly, not possibly, but exactly the same. So these absentee ballots had no folds in them, um, yet they were presented as absentee ballots. These ballots were exactly the same, and there was one in the middle of this stack that all of us at times have pulled something out of a scanner or a copier too soon, and um, the image is not square on the paper. And that's exactly the way one of these ballots was um, in this batch. It was also striking to me that rather than having the customary 100 to the batch, it had 110. Um, we found this to be quite an oddity. I've, I've done this long enough to know the votes are usually um, fairly even. And, and this was not the case either on with the absentee type ballots or, um, you know, when you're seeing a stack uh, where 98% of them are for one candidate, those are overwhelming odds, particularly when you look at the overall vote count. Okay, moving right along. A phrase you're going to hear a lot during the next two weeks is chain of custody. The chain of custody is said to be the sequential documentation or trail that accounts for the sequence of custody, control, transfer, analysis, and disposition of physical or electronic evidence. Every vote sent overseas to be tabulated broke chain of custody. The Chinese Communist Party, Iran, and Russia have successfully crippled our election system. Kanakoa the Great tweets, Georgia. Election data packets were transferred to a server in Frankfurt, Germany, which went offline on November 9th. Quote, a German professor talked about the drastic increase in traffic on November 3rd and 4th. It's common knowledge that that server was processing a lot of U.S. election data. Let's listen, shall we? If you actually click on their county election supervisor, you click on the 2020 election results, a warning flag pops up and it says, um, you're exiting this site and you're going to Clarity Elections. So Clarity Elections uh, is a subsidiary of CIDL, which provides the early voting uh, logs to TVs, uh, New York Times, uh, you know, all the mainstream media. Those votes from Oakland County, which was you know one of the biggest counties in Michigan, they're actually controlled, maintained, and owned by by Clarity Elections, and it pops up on the website. We're going to take you to www.clarityelections, and you you can look that up on your your computers if you'd like to. So I would think this would come as quite a surprise to the people of Georgia or Michigan, or that their voting data is sent outside the United States and also that their vote is being counted by a foreign company. Isn't that correct? Um, Clarity Elections um, is owned by CIDL, which is headquartered in Barcelona, Spain. And again, these, uh, these companies have servers all over the world. And um, the, uh, we, we came to the identity of, or saw the, the packet transfer to the server in Frankfurt. Um, that was reported on the 8th, and then on the 9th, that server went offline. So um, we know from German cybersecurity uh, professors that talked about the increase in their, the, the drastic increase in their traffic uh, on November the 3rd and 4th. Uh, and and he, al he attribute, attributed the uh, increase in uh, traffic, in web traffic to the American elections. So it was common knowledge that uh, that server was processing a lot of American election data. They used politicians at the state level to do it. Backed by the Silicon Valley oligarchs and the mainstream media to sell it to the masses once the steal was completed. Except Americans are not the masses. We never have been, and we never will be. An example, Brendan Dilley. Loud, brash, and vulgar, 
like a regular working American man. Hey, want to hear another one? A New Yorker's love note to de Blasio and Cuomo. The idiots running these states, just like all of America's enemies, have no fucking idea who we are. Shattered World Media tweeted, Max Public House, a.k.a. the Autonomous Zone Bar, being raided by the sheriff. Patriots in New York need to show their support. Get in touch with Scott and get down here. Fight back. Let's listen. All right, I'm out here in front of Max Public House, 130 Lincoln Avenue, being raided by the fucking sheriff's department. Okay, this tiny little place trying to make a fucking living, okay? 350 people on an airplane, thousands of planes, okay? This close to each other. Costco's open, Home Depot, people lined up, backed up with each other. This guy can't open his fucking business. It's shame on you fucking people. Shame on everybody for letting this fucking happen. There should be a thousand people out here right now when they're getting fucking raided by the goddamn Gestapo. Tomorrow is Wednesday at 6 o'clock p.m. I want this fucking street shut down with 10,000 fucking people. Because if we don't show up and show fucking face, we're going to lose this whole fucking battle. Disgusting. You should all be fucking disgusted with yourselves. If they fear you, they won't fuck with you. You understand what I'm saying? Get the fuck out here tomorrow night, Wednesday. Tomorrow night, 6 o'clock in front of Max Public House. This is disgusting. All right, I'm out here in front of Max. Thomas Wichter's thought on what the Democrats did on November 3rd. This was political suicide. I totally agree. Now that all of Trump's enemies have irrevocably hip-locked themselves to the lie, President Trump will now set that lie on fire with the truth. Oh, yeah. Remember Max Barr? Max Public House? <coughs> the hubris in these degenerate would-be rulers that existed prior to Election Day is about to be beaten out of them, figuratively, figuratively with loving hammer blows of rock-solid evidence. As they scream, how did this happen? The very next day, Eyewitness News, ABC7 New York tweeted, a huge group of people gathered outside the Staten Island bar in the middle of a COVID hot zone that was shut down last night by police for violating pandemic safety rules. Many could be seen carrying the American flag. Let's watch. Ah, oh, no sound. There it is. You thought we were peasants. We're not. You thought you could trick us into serfdom. You can't. Good job on turning 20 to 25% of Americans into socialist drones. One actual American is worth 500 of those soy-filled robots. Trump has the actual numbers from election night. He won big. And now he's going to prove it. He's going to ram the left's sniggering demand. He prove it right down their astonished throats as their charade implodes and the truth is revealed. All of Trump's enemies are going to suffer the same implosion as their false narratives. They won't politically survive this, and I don't just mean the D.C. swamp creatures. The Democrat Party cratered, the legacy media bankrupt, the social media giants broken up. We get to watch. We get to rejoice. We get to take part in the renewal of the American spirit. Georgia is going to bow to the will of the people mandated by law and by our Constitution. President Trump will be declared the winner. Then, one by one, all the other states where videos and affidavits also exist will follow suit. They never had a prayer of pulling this off. I honestly love Rudy Giuliani. He's proof 
that sheer will and moral force can still carry the day against even the most vile and powerful enemies of freedom. The tide has turned and its rising will become unstoppable. Prepare for an amazing Christmas. NTD News tweeted, Georgia hearing. Attorney Rudy Giuliani urges Georgia legislatures to use their right to pick electors. It's your responsibility if a false and fraudulent count is submitted to the U.S. government, and it's clear that the count you have now is false. Let's listen, shall we? And the, the fact that you have the power to do this, state law doesn't in any way prevent you, the legislature, from immediately taking this over and deciding this. That, that, that power, right, obligation is given to you by the Founding Fathers, deliberately. The Founding Fathers felt in a situation, I can't imagine they thought of this one, but in a situation of complexity, the best place to decide would be with the institution closest to the people. And you're the institution closest to the people. And you're going to have a very, very much better legal mind than mine talk to you on this, Professor Eastland. East man, my professor in law school was Eastland. This is Professor Eastman, and uh, it's very, very clear. The Supreme Court in McPherson versus Blacker says whatever provisions may be made by statute or by the state constitution to choose electors by the people, there is no doubt of the right of the legislature to resume the power at any time. To be sure, at any time, would likely not allow the legislatures to pick its own set of, of, of electors by whim, but there would have to be a substantial basis for it. And that's really what we're presenting to you, a substantial basis, even to the point that these votes are too illegitimate to certify, either too illegitimate to certify, or you can look through them and certify them in whatever way you feel is right. But this is your power, your obligation, and I know it's surprising. I've been before state legislators who didn't realize it and really so do we really have this power and then once reading the constitution and the federalist papers it clearly is yours you you are the final arbiter of who the electors should be and whether the process is fair or not and the other way to look at it it's your responsibility if a false and fraudulent count is submitted to the united states government and it is clear that the count you have right now is false President Trump wanted Americans to see what he's been fighting since day one. Now we have. Anyone still asking questions about what's at stake is either brain dead or the opposition. President Trump will emerge from this stronger than ever. The revolution will be televised, tweeted this video from Donald Trump on Charlie Rose. It looks, looks like maybe 20 years ago. Let's, let's listen, shall we? You see, I'm so loyal to people. Maybe I'm loyal to a fault, but I'm so loyal to people that when somebody's slightly disloyal to me, I look upon it as a great act of horror. And how are you different than you were three or four years ago? Well, I used to say, and in fact, I think I said in my first book that, and maybe this was foolish, but I, I really meant it, that someday I'd like to maybe lose everything for a period of time to see who's loyal and who's not loyal. And I frankly, I found out a lot of Did things. Did you find out who's loyal and no, not loyal? I tell you what, and you can't guess it. You can't predict it. You think certain people would be loyal no matter what. And it turns out that they're not. And you just, you just can't predict it. It's very difficult. And that I think been I would have treated people differently. I think that, you know, some of the people that were most loyal to me are people that I didn't think would be. Some of the people that were least loyal to me are people uh, that you got I it. think I would have treated them differently. I think I would have treated different groups differently. I would have wiped the floor with the guys that weren't loyal, which I will now do, which is great. You know, I love getting even with people, but I will. I will have wiped. You love getting even. Oh, absolutely. You don't believe you don't believe in the eye for the eye. You do. No. I know you well enough. I think you do. But anyway, but <laughs> but tell me. I mean, you you're going to get even with some people because yeah, I know. if given they... the opportunity, if given the opportunity, I will get even with some people that are disloyal to me. Come on, Governor. Even though you didn't endorse me. <laughs> <laughs> He's not forgotten.
and never forget. From, from this stronger than ever. So be of good cheer and know that the amazing and courageous people are all over this with zero intentions of failing. This could only have worked against cowards and that delusion is about to be harshly corrected for them. To support the works of Brent Cates, please donate any amount at paypal.me slash Brent Cates. Also, please check out the Americana Rising Teespring store. Link in the thread. I will be the greatest president that God ever created.